Hey guys, in this video I want to tackle two OpenTX topics that I think go hand in hand and making a separate video for each of them seems a bit overkill. I will show you how you can backup your OpenTX settings, models and firmware and how to restore them. Further I will talk a little bit about OpenTX nightly builds. Let's start with the nightly builds. OpenTX is being developed on GitHub. Each version has its own branch where you can find the latest editions. At one point this is frozen and bundled to an official release. You can get a snapshot of the current development state, the so-called nightly builds, which are generated as the name suggests every night. They contain editions that have been made after the latest stable release. But be aware, they also might contain bugs. So if you don't have a reason to use them, I would suggest to stay with the official releases instead. A good reason to use them is if you have a radio that is not yet supported in the latest official release, but all needed functionality has already been added to the development branch. This is the case for the Jumper T-Lite. It is not yet available in the official OpenTX release 2.3.11, but most adaptations have already been made in the development branch and will be part of 2.3.12 once it's released. If you want this functionality now, you have to install the nightly build. Go to the nightly build section on the download page. Choose your operating system and download the latest version. I will leave a link to the downloads page in the description. Run the companion and add a new radio profile to see if you can find your radio. And sure enough, here it is, the Jumper T-Lite. Now let's get the backing up. There are two different ways to make backups from the OpenTX companion or from the radio directly. Since the companion is already started, let's look at it first. To connect the radio to the companion, we need to put the radio into bootloader mode. How this is done differs from radio to radio, but oftentimes you simultaneously press the trim buttons for right yaw and left roll while pressing the power button. In the bootloader you have different options, but we just want to connect the radio to the OpenTX companion, so we plug in the USB cable as suggested on screen. From the companion we can directly back up the EEPROM, which contains radio settings and models, and the flash, which is the currently running version of OpenTX. Once you have saved the backups, you can easily restore them at a later point. I back up the EEPROM and flash before I update OpenTX to a newer version. This way I always have a working state I can revert to should something go south. I personally like to store it sorted by radio and date, but that is obviously totally up to you. Another thing you can do is save your models and files to an OTX file. This allows you to copy models from different radios between each other. I first read the models and settings from the Jumper T-Lite. I then open the OTX file that I have saved from my X-Lite and can now copy a model to the T-Lite. Don't forget to write the models and settings back to the radio. Be aware that for this to work properly, the radios need to run the same firmware version. That's why I always like to enable the firmware check when writing the settings and models back to the radio. On the radio itself, you can backup models and EEPROM, but not the firmware itself. You will need to have set up an SD card. If you want to learn how to do that, check out my video on that topic. To backup a model, long press the model button. Use up down to select the model you want to backup. Long press enter and select backup. The backup can then be found on the SD card in the model folder. To restore a backup, choose any empty slot in the model selection screen. Long press enter. Select restore and from the list select the model you want to restore. To back up the EEPROM, long press the system button and navigate to page 6 of the system settings, hardware. Scroll down and select EEPROM backup. The EEPROM backup can only be restored from the bootloader screen. 
Power on your radio while pressing the trim buttons as described before. From the menu select Restore EEPROM. You can now choose which EEPROM backup you want to restore. Firmware cannot be backed up from the radio itself, but you can have OpenTX firmware in your firmware folder on the SD card and you can flash it from there. Press the power button to exit bootloader mode. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget, I'll be back, so like and subscribe.